those kids who have already passed their JE exam, qualified their JE advanced exam, they can also get the admission in IIT Abu Dhabi. What academic programs IIT Abu Dhabi providing you? And obviously, the students who are doing excellence in their academic, they will be getting this scholarship. Yes. All JE 2024 qualified students would be entitled to a monthly stipend. So, yeah, they will be getting this stipend. More than five years they are in UA. So, yeah, you can you can apply for the CAT exam. Hello, my dear lovely students. I welcome you here at Physics Wala. And today, we will discuss everything about the CAT exam, what to do after CAT result. And those kids who have already passed their JE exam, qualified their JE advanced exam, they can also so get the admission in IIT Abu Dhabi and we will see all the counseling processes step by step okay so let's continue with the things so first of all we will see what after CAT result what is the counseling process to get admission in uh, IIT um, Abu Dhabi we will see everything first of all you should know that what academic programs IIT Abu Dhabi providing you so they are uh, so far they are having these two courses they are providing these two courses that is computer science and engineering energy engineering overall 60 seats are there right and you can obviously go to this link to know more about the Abu Dhabi campus this is the to to total tuition fee as you can see in the AD so yeah you can see this and this is the housing fee that you can see double occupancy single occupancy and obviously, the students who are doing excellence in their academic, they will be getting this scholarship. Yes. So we will see. We'll talk about the scholarship. So this scholarship is for the students who are from the uh, Abu, from the UAE itself. Those kids who are living there or resident of the IT, uh, you know, this uh, Abu Dhabi, right? So you can see they will be giving 100% tuition fee waiver and then stipend of this uh, much rupee. You can see they will be giving you transportation fee or so and they are just giving you the free accommodation if you are doing excellence in your academics and you are resident of UAE so yeah this is for the UAE national students next when we talk about the students who are taking admission in IIT Abu Dhabi uh, by you know their J advanced uh, marks so they will be getting all these things so tuition fee and scholarship so they have to uh, fill the um, you know tuition fee same as would be applicable to them uh, in IIT Delhi New Delhi campus so whatever fee is in the IIT Delhi campus you have to fee that much fee and the balance tuition uh, will be waived off all J 2024 qualified student would be entitled to a monthly stipend. So yeah, they will be getting this stipend. And other thing, you will be getting housing and transportation fee also. So you can see. Next, if you are tuition fee waiver for the uh, for for the students who are living in the UAE and you know international students so you can see over here so obviously uh, you can see if you are doing academic you are brilliant in academic so yes you can uh, expect all this thing all this scholarship as you can see over here next if we see the eligibility criteria so uh, like if you uh, if you have got 75 percent marks in your five subject in the class 12th or class 12th or equivalent board exams or be in the top 20 per, top 20 percentile so you are eligible for the CAT or J advance or like to take admission in the IIT Abu Dhabi you should born uh, after this uh, October 1 1999 UA nationals may receive a two years age relaxation as you can see standardized test score so yes you have to give the the MSAT and there you have to score this much marks as they have mentioned here you have to give the English proficiency test and we made already the video on the CAT you can refer that for everything about the CAT now when we talk about the CAT 2024 important dates so it was the important date for the kids who have appeared for this year and those students who are going to are planning to appear for this exam CAT exam if you are UA resident or if you are you know living in UA or studying for more than five years in the more than five years there in ua so yeah you can you can apply for the cat exam if you are international students or indian student you have to appear for je advanced exam right so yeah this is the application form so generally in may this application form uh, will come out you have to fill it in 2025 end date of online registration is june 3 cat exam date is uh, june 23 this year it was june 23 and result declared on july 11 2024 so you can expect the same date next year also so uh, now if we see the uh, you know this 
um, application form. So you expect application form uh, released during this time, as you can see, was held on the June 23 and result was on the July 11. And after that, the counseling uh, things has started, right? So it's already been completed for this year, 2024. So yes, this is the date. These are the dates that you have to remember. Registration start on July 11 for uh, this, uh, you know, IT Abu Dhabi admission. You can visit their uh, website in order to register. So registration end date is July 18. Uh, this was the time. Seat allo allocation round. So yes, these are the counseling round. Round one started, um, you know, in July 23. And then two, July 28. Round three was uh, on uh, August 2. And uh, J round four uh, was on the August 8. So yes, counseling for this year is already over. So if you are aiming for the 2025, you have to remember these dates. These are really important dates. So you can save this thing. So the counseling process for UAE or Gulf students seeking admission to the IIT, the Abu Dhabi, involves several key steps, and that we are going to see in detail for this uh, CAT. Uh, you know, uh, here is the detailed breakdown based on the CAT exam. So let's see what is the 2024 guideline, and it would be applicable uh, for 2025. Uh, aspirants also right so candidate must log in the online portal using their CAT application number roll number and registered mobile number for the registration after your result is uh, there right or if you want to you know form the free form for the registration to apply for the CAT exam again you have to visit the website and you have to appear for the CAT exam right fill in the choices of the academic program on the portal and this process is free of the cost so yes first of all suppose you have got your CAT result you already have given your MSAT exam and SAT exam that we saw or this you know other English proficiency exam IELTS and uh, all, all these exams, right? Once the choices are submitted and the deadline has passed, that is on July 18, they cannot be edited. So yes, this year, it was still the uh, July 18. The registration was open that's, that I have shown in the previous slide, right? So after that, what exactly you have to do? The round one will be started and it was this year, it was on uh, July 23, right? And next year also, you will be expecting the counseling, round one counseling uh, during this year. It's during this time itself. Candidate need to accept the seat, upload required documents. And what are the required documents? We will see. And pay the seat acceptance fee for the non-UA nationals by July 26 for the round one. If you have got the seat, you have to accept it. But again, you would be having two options here. Uh, freeze accept the offered seat and opt out of the subsequent round and slide means accept the offered seat but remain eligible for the higher preferences choices in the subsequent round. So suppose you want the different subject and you feel that in round one you have got the seat but uh, it's not the subject that you actually want. So you can wait for the second round two. Uh, round two so for that you have to choose the slide option and if you are like uh, satisfied with your count with your round one uh, allotment so you can go for the freeze right accept the offered seat opt out of the subsequent rounds so you will not be able to participate in the round two round three round four right in that ways so again round two also you will be having the same option it would be allocated on the july 8 28 online reporting document upload payment of the seats so document upload means they will be asking for your cat exam right sorry for your sat exam or they will be asking you to upload your cat result or this what we uh, call this, you know, English proficiency test results. And if you have not appeared for these tests so far for this year, 2024, because they have given all these processes, all this, all this thing late. So they are just giving you some more time to upload these documents, your results on it, right? Round three is further seat allocation on the uh, August 2 while reporting and payments. So same process and round four is the final round on August 8. It was on August 8 this year, but next year also you expect the same kind of, you know, similar dates. So you have to remember these dates for the next year. Next candidate can withdraw from the allocated seat. It's starting from the second round until the penultimate round. So they, that means until the third round. So you have to, if you want to withdraw, you can do it in the second round itself. But after accepting the offer, if you withdraw, you will not get the refund because you know you have to fill for the you have to fill the acceptance fee, right? You will not get that fee refund. So to withdraw, submit a duly signed withdrawal from form through the online portal. You have to submit this form to withdraw. After accepting the seat, upload the required document for verification. Pay the seat acceptance fee, that is this for non-UAE students and which is non-refundable but adjustable against the 
uh, admission fee, right, and respond promptly to any queries ra raised during the document verification process to avoid seat cancellation. So you have to promptly respond everything that they are asking you. Uh, upon successful verification of document and fulfillment of eligibility criteria, seat will be provisionally confirmed and download the provision seat allotment letter from the portal and then you have to visit offline your campus. No? Easy? Happy? So kids, these are the documents that are required, your 10th and 12th mark sheet, medical certificate, your passport if available, Emirati, right? So this ID you need, this process ensure a fair and transparent system for seat allocation, admission to the prestigious IT Delhi Abu Dhabi campus for further details i have just given you the link you can visit this link of iit abu dhabi for more information in case you have any confusion we have already made the introduction of cat like whatever uh, you need before the exam you need to know before the exam your age and your although i have told you some glimpse of it right but we already have made the detailed video on the cat and this is the other video about the counseling so in case you have any confusion regarding this and if you are planning to prepare for the need 20 IIT, uh, you know, this uh, CAT or J Advanced 2025 and you are aiming for this institute in Abu Dhabi, then you can just write down anything in the comment box and we'll come up with the solutions. All the best.